Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Emerald Adventures tonight. Last time, uh, well, uh, Watson kicked my ass with his magneton of asshole, but uh, we eventually made it through thanks to Striker, our new... I forget what your actual species is. I did a bit of grinding just to bring a few people up. Nickel fell behind because, like, they were about to evolve and I didn't know until I went to do grinding. And I don't like to get, like, evolutions off screen. Just feels rude. But we are presumably on the volcano place. So we're gonna talk to people and be like, hey, what's going on at the volcano? Something's happening and I don't like it. It should have just ended there. Would have been hilarious. I've seen shady characters wandering in and out of Professor Cosmo's home. Falabar Town, a farm community with small gardens. It's not really a farm community if your gardens are small. See, take a look. This is my precious Azuril. It's slick and smooth and plushy, too. Is it literally just a plushie? Now it's live. Up near a volcano. Have you already challenged Flannery, the leader of Lava Ridge Gym? No, I have not. The girl's grandfather was famous. He was one of the Elite Four in the Pokemon League at one point. It wouldn't surprise me to see Flannery become a great trainer in her own right. Well, I've yet to go to Lava Ridge. Let's check my PokéNav. Where is Lava Ridge? Was there a reason that we couldn't go there? I genuinely forget. Hmm. Did we just miss a turn? Or did I just go, I'm gonna go all the way up. Well, either way, we're here now. Professor Cosmo went off to Meteor Falls on Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hopefully I have the money to restock up on stuff. There's just a skitty in here for some reason. I'm having a hard time deciding if I should make m my Skitty evolve or not. I only have to use this Moonstone, but it's so hard to decide. If I make it evolve, it'll become much stronger, but it'll look so different, too. I want all sorts of things, but I used up my allowance. Wouldn't it be nice if there were a spell that made money appear when you wiggle a waggle a finger? If you want, I can teach your Pokémon the move Metronome. Money won't appear, but your Pokémon will wag a waggle a finger. I don't care about Metronome, it is a random diddly dee. This nugget I found here. I suppose I'll have to sell it, seeing as how it has no other purpose. That's just hilarious that they, like, kind of reference that. There is no purpose for this. It exists only to be used. And I guess a uh, few more balls. A few more potions as well. I need lots of potions, just in case I run into a situation where I need to cheese the hell out of something again. Pull a Watson strategy. There's another battle tent, but I don't really care about the battle tent. Move tutors, pause. What kind of move tutor into tutin' that you got doing, dude? I'm the move tutor. I know all the moves that Pokemon learn, every one of them. And I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach a move to a Pokemon, of course, if you'd like. I'll do it for a heart scale. I'm collecting those now. If your Pokemon needs to learn a move, come back with a heart scale. I think I heard about heart scales and them being hard to find. Fossil Maniac's house. Fossils greatly accepted. Hey, I played some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team today, and it was fun. I only got like an hour into it, but it was really fun. Huzzah! Always nice that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon gets some more appreciation, and I'm glad you had some fun with it. My big brother is the fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole by himself. You can have this, so you can dig holes just like my big brother. I'm not going to use dig. It's a t why attack once in two moves when I can attack twice in two moves. But it's always nice. Because, like, when it comes to, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, the main story is great. And then the post-game, some dungeons, like, ways that they kind of push you towards. Then again, I used, a, like, a guide to be like, hey, how do I get there? And I don't think most of it is difficult, I forget. I think getting the actual story dungeons for the post-game shouldn't be hard. 
And it shouldn't be too grueling. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me. None for you. If you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in a desert where there are boulders and sand that may hide fossils. So you dug all this. You really are a maniac. I got a Machop as my partner and chose Trico as my companion. Ah! Or as my character. For some reason, my brain autocorrected that. The little questionnaire is always a fun time. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm here even if I'm fishing. I always liked the questionnaire in the older games. Once they, once they got to the 3DS, they stopped doing the questionnaire. And, well, actually, it was more like, because for the first two games, they did the questionnaire. Then, uh, Gates to Infinity, they took it out. And you could just choose the Pokemon you wanted to, to have, but at the same time, it had a much smaller, like, pool to like, draw from four Pokemon to play as. I like to battle, but that doesn't mean I'm good at it. But then when they made Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, what they did there was they made the, uh, questionnaire optional, which I really liked. All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares come near me. Uh, if you would like, please take this TM away. But if your Pokemon already knows it, then it's not going to be taking away the, the move. TM05 contains Roar, a Roar since Pokemon scurrying. Bow, bow, wow. It really is a dog. And we'll have in this double battle. I forget who's on my secondary. I landed a big one, a huge one, I tell ya. You telling me you caught a fish this big? Me, I'm not just a pretty face. Well, I, honestly, I find that doubtful. Also, you are a child. Another Barbos and a Nuzleaf. Why did the child send out the nipple Pokemon? Seems weird. Oh, let's see. There. Spark you. Wait, I don't think that'll work. Well, Thunder Wave you to be safe. But then I think for the latest Pokemon Mystery Dungeon release, which is a remake of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue Rescue Team on the Switch... They brought it back as an optional thing as well. You can do the the guy or the the questionnaire, and then go through and uh, be like, "Oh, are you satisfied? If not, well, you can choose again." I thought that I would be able to choose my character, but questions was a more interesting approach. The only downside to the questionnaire is you, if you want to get a specific Pokemon. You kind of have to go and uh, look up a guide of, like, which questions do what. But then that also leads to the problem where sometimes you won't even get the, like, necessary questions to be able to get the Pokemon you want. And also some Pokemon are locked by gender. Like Eevee. You want to get Eevee? You've got to be a girl. Because the almighty questionnaire god is a weirdo. But I still like that they did it. It's neat. Striker, how did you miss, you fool? Ah, Nickel leveled up. Does that mean... Fisherman Kai. On the next episode of Fisherman Kai. That wasn't cute in the least. You didn't even say anything about cute. You just said you were... Well, I guess you did. You did say you were not a cute face. Not just a cute face. And now, dear Nickel, shall evolve to their great... I don't know. Is this another Pidgey where there's three forms, or is this just a two-form one? It's been a long time. A part of me wants to say it's just a two-form. By the way, I really like Swillow. It's a nice design. Energy powder? What's that? All these new items in these Pokemon games. Whereas, there's just me, that I never used them. And I realize that your background is the town in Mystery Dungeon. Yeah! Um, it, it, it's mostly that because I had that for my Pokemon Blue Mystery Dungeon s streams because the DS screens, I wanted them both on there, so I would just, like, uh, 
had a background and then put the screens in the little boxes and uh, just kept it for emulation for the future because I think it looks nice. It adds personality. Who's calling me now? Lola Bunny again. Know what I'm doing today? Looking at the waves from the beach. The waves are all sparkly. The sea's the prettiest from here. I'm getting hungry, so bye-bye. Time to murder you. If we were fishing, you wouldn't stand a chance against me, so bring on your Pokemon. Now, to <laughs> we'll def And just another goddamn Magikarp, but you're worthless to me. A Magikarp? You're worthless to me! I do not know why. Just Mystery Dungeon is just a game that speaks to me. It's just a hilarious thing where technically, like, it's just all the factors that come together. The gameplay is interesting, even if it's not my favorite kind of gameplay. I still like it. But then the fact that it's Pokemon, you play as the Pokemon. It's a diddly dang <laughs> isekai. I love it. It's a fun time. Really makes me wonder if, uh, like, when and if we'll ever get another Mystery Dungeon game. Because I really like it, and I hope they do make more. Guess it also depends on, like, how well the, like, Switch remake did. Of which I do not know the numbers. Which reminds me that I think Pokemon Legends Arceus did good, sales-wise, broke some Pokemon records. If we were fishing, I would have won, but you literally said that, and that's why you chose to fight me. I thought that was because you thought it would be too easy to fish me to death. I wonder what this place is. I need to exercise after a meal. Let's have a match. Let me guess. Your end thing is going to be like, oh no, I've gotten cramps. Because you were too active after having a meal. I can only assume. But yeah, since Pokemon Legends Arceus apparently like broke sales records for Pokemon in some category, really makes me wonder if we'll get another Legends title. Which again, apparently there are some ties to Ancient Johto. I think them like referring to the like region of Johto as Tojo, which also links back to an event in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. so who knows, maybe the next game will be in <laughs> Pokemon Legends Johto. Or would it be like Pokemon Legends Ho-Oh? Since it's like Legends Legendary. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh no! That's it. Oh no! I wanted exercise after a meal and have been obliterated. By God. Bum, 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 bum. It's just a low tad. You do not scare me. If they go down the Legends path more, then I also believe that the next would be in the ancient Johto region. Because, yeah, it just would fit so well. Because there's cool things to do in ancient Johto. You could meet... It could even tie into the, like... Who knows? Maybe they could set it a bit after Hisui, Legends Arceus. And have it, like, be the beginning of... There are now people working on mass-producing Pokeballs. And it's a lost art and you can train under, like... What was his name? Clint? I forget the Pokeball Masterman in Johto. His, like, ancestor. I just think that would be neat. Well, sure, I'm in the mood for it. I'll teach you a little about Pokemon. The wording sounded weird to me. We will annihilate you. Although I do wonder how, like... bibbidi ba. I wonder how... Lugia will be tied in. Because Lugia doesn't feel like, at least from if I recall, 
didn't have much to do with the Johto all that much. Because it doesn't feel like the other regions are particularly filled with ancient history as much as Johto. Yeah, the closest thing for, like, Kanto was, like, a recent war. Because you know Surge mentioning that there was a war. And then... In Hoenn, there doesn't really feel to be anything ancient in Hoenn so far. But maybe it's just I haven't found it slash haven't been paying attention. Sinnoh worked really well for a Legends game. Because it had the ancient, like, it had Spear Pillar, it had Ruins, it felt like it had history. It dealt with basically the, child, the Pokemon Children of God. I love using the berry crush machine, so I'm collecting berries. I'll share one with you if you like. But let's see, what other ones are there? Then there's Yanova next. Which, if what I've caught on from, like, listening, like, uh... Because, like, shouldn't there be, like, history about an ancient king that split himself in two with Yanova, and that's why there's a dragon of ideals and a dragon of truth or something? I only know stuff from fan fiction at this point. I can't wait to get, get to black and white. Because I really like the, I like the idea of those games. And uh, uh, not just because Ingo comes from Yanova. That's totally not just it. Lynette's house. Oh. The, this the, the proprietor of technology. Oh, Neon, I'm I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a secret in exchange for this. I got a doll. Gen 5 feels strange to be a Legends game, other than lore-wise. Otherwise, it's a very modern region. Which could be a cool thing. Like, what if they had a Legends game, and at first you didn't know it was Yanova, and you think, oh, maybe this is an original ancient region. Maybe it'll be a region like Atlantis that is doomed to fall at the folly of man and the power of legendaries, when in actuality it's just an ancient medieval, like, Yanova. <laughs> maybe Emmett could fall into the past there. <laughs> Even though I still prefer Emmett falling into a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon World version of Hisui and becoming a Sneasel. Because I am a basic bitch. <laughs> the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> it's Lynette's research notes. There's information about boxes. Design boxes to hold 30 Pokemon each. Each trainer should be able to store 400... 420 Blaze it on the PC system. Sure. A marking system should be added to make Pokemon easier to organize. The name and wallpaper design of each box will be made changeable to please the stored Pokemon. When storing a Pokemon, it should be sent to the box inspected last. Excuse me? If that box is full, the received Pokemon is stored in the next box. In other words, when a box is examined, it is automatically selected as the box to which Pokemon are sent. Interesting. Or uh, another funny idea for, like, a Legends Yanova. <laughs> what if they pulled a funny thing where you run into somebody that looks like Emmett, but it's actually like Emmett and Ingo's ancestor. And you think, oh, you thought that they were gonna do that. They, you thought they were gonna put Emmett in the past just like his brother, you fool! There's just a lot of possibilities they can do with like, Legends games. And I forget. Wasn't there a thing about there being, like, an... Like, isn't there an immortal man in X and Y? So, I wonder if X and Y would be an interesting Legends game as well. Just possibilities abound. And because, again, from what I heard, Legends Arceus actually did really well, I really hope that they make more. Because I love the feel of the games, I love the flow. I love the fact that even though it was quote unquote darker and edgier, I just it felt more fleshed out and full. And I liked that. Then again, I haven't played like Sword and Shield and I haven't played Scarlet and Violet. I need to eventually, just to experience them myself. At some point in the future. But there's just so many Pokemon games that I want to play. 
Huh. Another Lotad. You will die today, little Lotad man. Kill him! Although now that we're in... Going, going, going. You bastard. Oh, great. I have half a mind to go back and diddly d save my boy. Darn paralysis. The gotcha. That's here to eat your soul. The RNG. Now, let's see. What Pokemon shall be thrown into the way? Oh, hey. You have an item for me. It is an X-Attack. Don't really use X-Attacks much. I will take your... The bag is full! Alright, we're gonna have to go back and sell things anyway. Did not know that the bag could get full. Where's Baggins from Legend Arceus when you need him? Even though, personally, I subscribe to the idea that Baggins is just, like, a future Palkia, or just another Palkia using his space powers to be like, ah, oh, yes, I am teaching you how to pack your bag more efficiently when in actuality he's just growing your bag's space like a TARDIS. Sword and Shield has ancient history in it as well, but I just don't see them making legends of modern Pokemon games that came out on the Switch era. Yeah, I feel like it would be best to make like, ancient past games, like, stuff, from older games. Again, maybe all the way up to Yanova, if only because Yanova has potential, from what I've heard. Sure, it feels like a modern world and region, so that just makes it all the more jarring to see the lore play out. I just think it would be cool. But it would be very odd to see, like... A modern Pokemon game and then just like and now we're gonna show you ancient Scarlet and Violet I don't even know the region's name meh well let's see what am I going to do restores PowerPoint prevent stat reduction I don't think I'm ever gonna use you gotta keep these orange mail Sue Bell that calms spirits and fosters friendships I guess I could give that to, uh, to Luna. Soft Sand. Raises the power of ground type. Moves. I shall keep you for now. I will keep you as well. I'll keep you because, again, in the future when I run into a gym battle, I should give that to, to Zoom. Oh, hey, I should get rid of you. I have still no idea why Tiny Mushroom exists. Antidote, XX, Reese, Diddly D. There's just so many things. Like, this is another thing that I don't really care about. Here's these temporary use things, but you can't really stock up on them, or else they're just gonna, like, get in the way. You fool. Well, let's see, is there anything else in the... No, it doesn't seem like it. I would like to sell my Whalmer Pail. Now my brain went, what if there was a Pokemon game that had like a crossover with other Nintendo games? Kind of like how that one Kirby game had a crossover with Metroid. Gen 1 through 5 seems like the only games that should be remade or legendified because they used older hardware and game making capabilities as well. Gen 6 is pushing it a bit. That's true. Plus, a lot of people would have, like... What's the word? They would have a bit of... Nostalgia for some of the older games. So it would, like, work out a bit better. Because when did, like... Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum come out? Feels like forever ago. This is a very active bush area. Also, I just... I just noticed I've never caught you before. <laughs> I guess I can catch a Swablu. If you don't die. So yeah, I think the only region of, like, older Pokemon that 
doesn't really feel like it works for a Legends game would be Kanto. If only because, again, the only real background lore to Kanto is, like, odd things like Surge in the War. Swablu, the Cotton Bird Pokemon, a Pokemon that has wings like cottony clouds. After enduring winter in which little food is available, Swablu flocks move closer to towns in the spring. Around the later half of the 2000s, around 2007 or 2008, I, for I don't know. <laughs> that does sound about correct. Hmm. I don't know why. I shall call you Hoot. You are now Hoot. And we shall fight this man. Camping's fun! You can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell spooky stories. But the best of all are the Pokemon battles. Because you just run into so many people out in the wilderness. Then again, you're running into me, so I guess you have a point. Kill! Quit throwing sand in Nickel's eyes! You bastard. Of course I suffer. Accuracy. Once again, the game decides. Oh, one sand attack, you're crippled for life. For all eternity, you are destroyed. You are a mean little man. Huzzah for experience. <laughs> We're gonna destroy your nose leaf unless I get locked into a forever missing. Forever missing is entirely possible. God damn you. Destroy this little man. Destroy him now. I said destroy him. Kill the boy. Kill the man boy. Eat his soul. And it still killed him one, in one hit. Nice. Way too strong! There's so many people out here. Wandering the land, it seems. Smash this rock, for there is a Pokeball item out there that shall become mine. Ah, protein. Who needs that the most? Hi, Nuzleaf, the originator of Nuzlocks. My favorite way to play Pokemon games currently, because I've played them too, too many times. I'll eventually have to give a Nuzlocke my own, like, attempt. It's just that I want to get through, like, the, the games normally. I guess I'll give it to... Z Who's a good, like, normal attacker? I think Nightfang or Zoom. Probably Zoom. Zoom's a badass. That headbutt attack is gonna cripple all these motherfuckers. Why can't we just walk up here? What is the point of this? It makes no sense. It makes no sands. But I've never done a Nuzlocke before, so it'd be interesting to do one. <laughs> what a battle against my Pokemon. I'm gonna throw you into the ocean. Your singular, your singular Pokemon. I'm going to kill you. And nope, wrong one. I meant my Pokemon. And we're gonna send out Striker to annihilate you. How dare you bring an Aaron, an Aaron, to attack me? Yeah, don't ruin your first experience with a region with Nuzlocks. Nuzlocks are for like regions that you're like decently good with already. That you know the Pokemon in, you know the general flow. Although a Nuzlocke randomizer, randomizer would be neat as well. But my Pokemon, your singular Pokemon that you sent out to fight me. Don't forget what you've done to me. I'll make it so you can't forget. You are the one that attacked me, little man. Ah, Carbos. 
We need to give my Pokemon some carbs. The speed stat of one of my Pokemon. Who could need that the most? Hmm. Honestly, I shall give it to Shane. Yes? How do you do? This is Madeline speaking. Have you had success catching Pokemon lately? I came very close a little while ago, but my target got free. I need to try harder. See you again. But speaking of randomizers, the only, like, experience of randomizers I've had is in preparation for, like, playing through a bunch of Pokemon games, I used the randomizers feature to, like, make it so that trade-only Pokemon can evolve through normal means. So that way, like, I doubt that I'll ever actually use that feature, but it is now a possibility that I can do something with. I just figured that would be cool. We could sneak by this guy if I wanted. We're solid snake in it. And then he saw us. If you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. Safety advice from Pokemon. Hmm, but... Not the slugma balls. Kill it! And went down in one hit. Huzzah! And you're almost leveled up, Nickel. We'll destroy this Wingle, too. You think you're neat, you think you're cool, you're dead, that's what you are. I did normal Nuzlocks at first, but now after many Nuzlocks, I only do randomizer Nuzlocks because they make the experiences unique every time. Definitely understandable. For me, I'll probably do... <laughs> Thanks for dousing my fire! <laughs> for me, I'll probably do normal Nuzlocks at first, at the very least. And then try out randomizers for fun. Ah, double battle coming up, hmm? Let's try something unique. If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains! Have you made your Pokémon evolve very much? Decently, I'd say. Little child man. Child girl. A Geodude and a Lombre. I think Striker is gonna be at a... bad advantage here. Well, I guess first things first. Thunder Wave that Lombre. Paralyze their Pokemon. So that they might suffer eternally. Much better. Oh, that's not good. I think Striker's gonna be dead. Huh. Oh, because it's a rock move. For some reason, I thought that would be the end of him. But plus, I think a randomizer could be just a fun, chaotic time. You try to go through, your rival gets a legendary Pokemon. Just be madness personified, and it'd be a great time. Goodbye, Numo. Good job, Striker. Oh, that's very mean. And it didn't even do all that much. How much of a beast are you, Luna? Have I raised you good? And great leveling for Striker, it seems. That Meryl is gonna fucking die. And it came out into a confusion, too? Lol. They're fun and great, uh, great tool to try new Pokemon that you've never got the chance to try before. That's also true. Because when it comes to the normal games, you might fall into a... just complacency of like, oh, but I want to use this Pokemon. The mountains are unforgiving. Oh, I see. That's good to know. Ooh, but this reminds me that eventually I'm going to get to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And I'm going to get the opportunity to actually use a Sneasel in one of these games. Because... 
I just sadly never, like, synced up the time between streams to catch a Sneasel and actually use it. Yo lay hoo You're supposed to shout yo lay hoo since it doesn't echo here. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. You're supposed to be my echo. Why do all of you guys only have Geodudes? What is with your obsession, little man? Oh, for some reason I thought you'd be strong against rock because my brain's on fire. Well, since I'm dumb, I'll send out Shane. Do it, Shane. Kill him. Throw the rock off the mountain. Shoot him with a gun. Goodbye, Geodude. I'm just going to use him a chop. Now I think Nickel can come out and do stuff. Because if I remember correctly, fighting type should be weak to flying for some reason. Because I think I made a joke back in Pokemon Yellow where I'm just like, what, is it because it's hard to, like, karate kick a bird? Of which I can only assume that it is. Goodbye, Linny. Yo, lay hoo I wonder why there's so many, like, rock smash spots blocking the endants. Because I think it's, like, with secret power, you can, like, go into a... Like, a thing. Meteor Falls. I'm just immediately into combat. Not the Zubat. Come to think of it, we haven't caught a Zubat yet, so I guess we're gonna have to here. Unless you fucking die. Nickel has spoken. They do not want us to have a, a Zubat. I just want to get a look at the land. I don't know which way to go. For some reason, I didn't expect you. All right, I guess we'll try and catch you. Nickel didn't like the vibe of the Zubat. Guess I'll bring out Shane, and he'll just smack down the Soul Rock a bit, and we'll capture you. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm dumb. Well, if you survive this, we'll catch you. Watch you be like a 0.1% spawn or something. Although I just remembered one thing that really makes me excited to eventually get to... Uh, diddly D, what's its name? Get to Yanova. I want a Shandular! You fuck. I just think a chandelier, chandelier will be a neat Pokemon. All right, uh, Shane decided that he's going to expedite our catching of this Pokemon. All right, Sunshine, get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. You fuck. Although I just realized something. Well, not realize something, but a thought came to mind. What if we got, like, a Pokemon game where you play as Mewtwo, and it, like, focuses on Team Rocket's, like, creation of Mewtwo? I think that would be cool. Now, get in the ball. You have no health. You have no health. Get in the... What is wrong with you? Game, what is your catch rate shenanigans? It has no health. This is the highest level poke. Okay, this is bullshit game. This is just stupid. Fine. Do you want? Do you want a fucking Ultra Ball? Zoom has found a few Ultra Balls. Do you want this? You're gonna break out immediately, aren't you? You are a whore. I can't believe the sun is a whore. Will you fucking stop? Why is a Pokemon this hard to catch? 
for no reason. Literally no reason. It's low health, should get in the ball. Jesus Christ. I've had an easier time capturing alphas through pure combat in Legends Arceus than that. Solrock, the meteorite Pokemon. Solar energy is the source of this Pokemon's power. That's why it's in a cave. On sunny days, groups of Solrock line up facing the sun and absorb its light. Hmm. Let's see. We shall call you if it shall fit. Daybreaker. Just the right amount. Daybreaker. <laughs> Why light is absorbing? It's in a cave. That's what I said. You can't absorb light in a cave, you moron. Ah, but what item death you got have? Another X attack. Well, apparently I went the right way. But I want to check some... Ah. Would have been funny if there was an item hidden behind it. Well, because that soul rock was an asshole, we're going to run back and heal everybody. It did deep emotional damage to everybody. Everybody I beat looking on with hate in their eyes. Kill this low tad. Send him to hell. Eat his soul. Kill his family. Apparently my Night Fang got the memo because <laughs> Night Fang was just, here's the command. Kill. G immediately gets a crit. Again, has got to be a horrifying experience if you're just a normal trainer. The other trainer sends out their Pokemon and just says, kill. Now the idea of a rated M Pokemon game, where you're like, in a big city, and you're a detective, and you have to solve like murders, and the murder weapon is sometimes a traumatized Pokemon. Well, you see, I just let the Chandelure in, so it would uh, absorb my evil rival's soul. Once again, murder time. Doesn't even need a crit. I do like the music in this game. It's very pleasing. Now this makes me wonder if there's like a, a TAS speedrun of this game. And how efficient it is. Hmm. I guess since we're gonna be dealing with rocks, Shane will be the front runner here. I instantly thought of Detective Pikachu game, but I don't think there were murder cases in that. I haven't finished it. Same. I feel like it's more... Then again, I haven't really heard much about it. I saw some stuff about it, but I've seen more about the movie than the game. <laughs> With this meteorite, that thing in that Mount Chimney will... Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you don't get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you have... Oh, you can have your way with the world. Oh. Just completely wrong person. <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorites, so off to Mount Chimney we go. <laughs> Be seeing you, you Team Magma dingbats. Didn't I see you before? At Slayport's museum. Ah, so your name is Neon. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. Hm. You're one odd kid. Team Magma's a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. 
boss. We should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes, we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Neon, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma, too. Farewell. I find that amusing. We get in their way, but then the moment that Team Magma enters the picture, he's just like, yes, <laughs> if you can mess up their data, I'd be good, too. <laughs> Comes from the right person. <laughs> Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meteorite away. And then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with the meteorite at Titmount Chimney? Murder? Maybe murder. Well, let's see. Shall this Zubat immediately die? Just so you know, Zubat, you break out of one Pokeball, I will murder you. Well, apparently Shane didn't like those vibes on that Zubat either. Hey, I got a Moonstone. I got the Moonstone. Beep, beep, beep. Another Zubat. Will you pass the vibe check? Let us find out. Huh. Maybe it has. Remember, Zubat, you only get one chance. Break out of that Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna die. And you just get a Pokeball. You don't get anything special. It has chosen life. It has seen what happened to all the other Zubats and has decided to not risk it. Zubat, the bat Pokemon. While living in pitch black caverns, their eyes gradually grew shut and deprived them of vision. They use ultrasonic waves to detect obstacles. You shall be called Bob. And what's down here, I wonder? I do wonder. Is this just more... Huh, that just seems odd. So yeah, at this point, I'm going to assume that Solrock is indeed a kind of rare spawn. Maybe this place is... what's the... Skarmory. Just difficult enough to find and capture that it's a bother. Well, what is this purple stuff? What is this purple stuff? I don't get it. Oh, and there is a cavern exit here. Meteor Falls, follow bird town through here. Huh? My strongest skill is busting bricks of my forehead! I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> Knob? Why is that your name? Why did your parents hate you? Kill this man. With the power of gun. Critical hit. And now you're Machop. It stands there, beaten and broken. What will you do? Not surrender? Then it shall die. Wow, my head is busted. Good. You impress me. Give me a rematch after I redo my training. You are a weird man. So yeah, this is just heading back down to... The diddly dee place. Yeah, back to Rustboro. So here will be that jump off point. So I guess I'll just head back around. Oh, Mount Chimney's there anyway. Neat. So that is indeed where I must go. I found a great ball on the ground. I wonder if somebody died in here. Then again, I, that reminds me of the random, I don't know, if it was, like, an actual, like, official thing, or if it was, like, like a theory and or just, like, theory crafting. Hmm, what if this is reason for that? Hello, lady. 
the speech of my secret training spot. Don't come butting in. But yeah, it's just like, what if there was a, like, a person got killed and their Pokeball fell on the ground and then the item that their Pokemon was holding is all that is left of their Pokemon as it faded away. Shoot it with a gun. Only two time? Not the confusion. Is that why it's called Kung Fu? Because a martial artist was confused? Where do all these seeds come from? What do they mean? And who's the next one? Makuhita? Actually, this is the perfect time. Luna, get in there and kill. Time for the little darling to get some murder in. <laughs> Die. My darling little murderer. I haven't trained enough. Yeah, it's because I interrupted your training. Okay, fine. You're free to come here and return. I'd like to battle you again. Now, let's see. There was a double battle coming up on ahead. So we'll have these two fight alongside each other. Steve here. My Aaron is a force. It won me another battle just now. I can't wait to have a rematch with you. There's way too many people out there calling me. I have a rare Pokemon. Would you like me to show you? you you've disturbed my meditation. You'll be punished for it. What about the guy that was standing across from you? Wasn't he, like, ruining your meditation? Oh, hey, a Zangoose! I wonder if that means Survivor is in this game. Probably not. Probably like version differences. I don't even... Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what the version differences between Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald are. Bullet Seed. Bullet Seed. Even her, even the meditating person's Pokemon itself also meditates. News at 11. Goodbye, Zangoose. Soon, Striker should be really leveling up. Speaking of Survivor, hello there. Get shot in the face. Get shot in the face. Survivor looks cool in this game. It's one of those Pokemon that I've been, like, drawn to. Because I just think they look cool. And I'm never going to use Odor Sleuth. Because that means you, you know that that Pokemon, like, has evasion up. And you know that their trainer is going to use it. I think they're both an Emerald. And then version exclusive to either Ruby or Sapphire. Yeah. Why does that Spoink look wrong? Aw, oh, I thought Screech would work on either of them. Well, I guess we'll just annihilate you. But yeah, that Spoink, it looks wrong. Why is it black? Oh, because I guess you're poison type. I should have seen this coming. That's not good. How dare you? Uh, you can Screech and then Wing Attack. Even if it doesn't work in that order. Well, I guess that was pointless. I could have just smacked you. Pounded you into the dirt. Not the poison tail. Motherfucker. Well, fine. We'll bring Striker in. Kill. And here I was hoping for a decent payout of experience for my poor boy. You you wanted my Pokemon, don't you? I mean to have? Are you offering them to me? You've broken my concentration. 
And now what's this? PowerPoint up that I don't really f have like find much use for. And now for the most fun, going back through the cave. Actually, it's not that bad. It's a very small cave. All things considered. Which makes me wonder. There hasn't been that many caves in this game. Aside from that cave on the island that Brawly is on, there hasn't been, like, cave, 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 caves. Oh, man, I wanted to switch, but my brain got smacked up for some reason. I do like the cavey backgrounds in this cave, though. Seems very cool. So I think it was a good idea to have caught that. Soul Rock. Definitely seems like it's a, a rare spawn. It really does feel like the game throws rare spawns in my face. Oh no, it's back. And the person that could kill you is gone. Knocked out. I'm not gonna deal with you. I'm going away. So when I look for a Ralts, I don't find one unless I really, really dig everything else. All the other rare spawns, they just throw themselves at me. Like it's Furrymon. Except it's the sun made it out of a rock. Heard of Furrymon. Now get ready for Geologist Mon. Headbutt this man. How dare you survive? How dare you sing? This is not a Colosseum. I wonder why Yawn exists when Sing is here. I guess Yawn is like a low level Sing? Where it takes an extra turn to actually put a Pokemon to sleep? Maybe, and because they, they figured, oh no, Sing is too powerful. We will make it a higher level learned thing. By like. 10. Be gone, Satan. These are very active grasses. Don't you dare sing at me. Don't you dare sing at me again. I will not accept it. I will not accept you singing at me again. Do not put my weasel to sleep. The most active grass. Oh, hey, speaking of survivor. Like, I'm not going to use you, but I will catch you. Jesus Christ, Zoom. You almost annihilated a Pokemon that I actually like. Once again, just like Shane before her, Zoom decided that they were going to expedite the catching process. And right there, I was half expecting Surviper to jump out and ruin my day. Surviper, the Fang Snake Pokemon. Fucking nine feet. Saviper and Zangoose are eternal rivals. It counters a Zangoose's dazzling agility with its sword-like tail, which also oozes a horrible poison. Yon was introduced in Gen 3 uh, with Slack Off, and I think you know why. Still, it just feels... <laughs> why not let it sing? Let Slack Off sing. Last time about my favorite soundtrack in Emerald? Well, Meteor Falls is the worst soundtrack in Emerald. Why do people run through without noticing? I haven't really... Yeah, I didn't notice it all that much. It was just background noise to me. Just never really noticed. If I weren't on my way, I would run back. You are snack. Because, yeah, I can't think of it. Because normally if a, a soundtrack is bad, it would jump out at me. But nothing did. When a song is good, I, my brain usually picks up on it. And it's just like, oh, the song, it bops. Unless I'm, like, super engrossed in the game. 
That reminds me of my reaction to the theme music for the, like, one of the Pokemon boss fights in Legends Arceus. That route theme you just heard is so iconic. Neat. I just keep forgetting. Hmm. What about my soot bag? <laughs> Dad's voice. There's a time and a place for everything. Well, I guess let's try and gather up this soot. Alright, I guess we just run through. Maybe if we run up to the guy's house. We shall kill you, Spinda. Although, you look the most Spinda Spinda that I've ever seen. Fine, bullet seed him. Shoot his face off. Not the faint attack. Also, shouldn't that be faint as in, like, the maneuver faint, F-E-I-N-T? Not, then again, it is a Spinda. So maybe it literally is fainting. <laughs> ah, Neon, this is Miguel. How are your Pokemon? I just lost yet another Bandle. We'll see ya. Well, if you're not winning, why would I ever come visit you? Have you collected ashes, Huffpuff? Let me see, Huffpuff. Oh, you've got lots of ashes, Huffpuff. I'll make you a glass item, Huffpuff. A pretty desk? I guess of a white flute. How dare you say? You offer it, you don't? Pokemon just never miss with the music in their games. It's just so good. When the music hits, it really hits. And I don't think I've ever heard a, a theme in Pokemon that I've disliked. Probably because, like, if there was a theme that I didn't like in Pokemon, I would just kind of go... It would just wash over me and I wouldn't really notice. Ah, so this is why. I, for some reason... Guess I just didn't notice this little... Oh, wait, no. I thought this was the way to the, the Lava Ridge town. Oh, yeah, we already fought you. Did I go into this cave? Fiery Path. Oh, yeah, because that's how we got up here. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Because there, nobody would let us up. Because I couldn't go. Th oh yeah, that's right. And we can't go down because there's a, a ba 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 ba. There's a what's it called? The sandstorm. I'll quickly double check though. Camels can't growl. Go back to the desert, or the volcano. The desert volcano. Yeah, because I think down here is a sandstorm, so we can't go down that way. Now I remember why things are the way that they are. And I think we still need to beat the Lava Ridge Lady to be able to use strength. Bullet Seed, kill the lava! Go for 10 and annihilate it in one go. What if we, like, sent out cyanide seeds, seeds with cyanide in them, and then they would melt into the slugma's body and it would die? No normal slander, okay? He's just vibing in the tall grass and he dared to fight me. There is no slander to fighting a fool. Now I'm imagining a Numel dressed up as a court jester, and it amuses me. Everyone should have a funny-looking Numel to tell them the bad news. Yes, sir! The Black Plague has killed a fifth of the kingdom! Although I guess a new mail would work perfectly for being a court jester because then it could deliver righteous burns. 
upon the right people. And I guess we'll catch a coughing while we're here. Why not? Break out, you're gonna die. Every single time it's a Pokemon that I don't care if I catch or not, it immediately gets caught. When it's a Pokemon that I'm actively going after, it decides to rebel. Coughing, the poison gas Pokemon. Getting up close to a coughing will give you a chance to observe through its thin skin the toxic gases swirling inside. It blows up at the slightest stimulation. Ah, premature, huh? I like that coughing sprite. He looks like he's having so much fun. I don't know why. I do not know why, but this man here, he is Italy. <laughs> he is Italy now. And those dudes are gone. I'm gonna see about running back to the last town's Pokemon Center. Oh wait, we probably won't have to do that because there's the Battle Tower that we can't go into yet. But we can use their <laughs> healing facility. And then we will go up to Lava Ridge Town, I suppose. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. You have to wonder how many people grew up playing Pokemon that has free health care. And they're just like, oh, we can't have free health care. Come on, well, don't you want 10-year-olds to go out into the world, become vigorously beaten by life, but still happy? I wonder if the Pokemon themselves pay taxes. Like, if you're, a, if you're a psychic type, if you're an intelligent psychic type, do you pay taxes? That made me think of names of the beta red and blue. They were named after American cities. Huh. Interesting. Coffin's name, that is. Ah. New York. Is there anything in this trash? Why is there even a thing if it's empty? I want to go up. The cable car is ready to go up. Would you like to be on it? Please step this way. I hope no Arachnamon comes along and breaks this down. I think it was New York and also, and, uh, yeah, like Los Angeles or something like that. I wonder if these guys are just going to block it. Jagged Path, Lava Ridge down ahead. We're going to keep making more land! If they expand the land, there'll be less habitats for water Pokemon! Yeah, but if you, like, create more ocean... <laughs> Damn, autocorrect is killing me. Wow, these guys are bullying Archie! You better not mess with us! We're trying to awaken that thing for the benefit of everyone! Uh, Neon, I should have guessed you'd show up. See for yourself that the fanatics of Team Aqua are up to. You're trying to inject the stolen meteorite power into the volcano. Doing something like that will cause the volcano's eruption! So in this case, it's an enemy of my enemy is my friend. We're Team Magma. They're Team Aqua. It totally annoys me that they'd use a name like ours. We're Team Aqua. They're Team Magma. It burns me up that they use such a confusing name. Every time I played Emerald and passed through Fallibur, I purposely stayed there until I wanted to actually play the game. It's my hometown. Ah. If there were more land, I'd be able to get my big house of my own. That is the vainest thing I've heard. I'm going to build it on hardened lava. Oh, it was a woman. You are a vain woman. Ah, uh, you'll probably annihilate Shane, so we'll swap in somebody else. I'll send in Zoom. Headbutt this camel man. Magnitude! The motives of Timaqua and Magma are pretty stupid. 
You'd think that a magnitude 8 would have done more damage. And that was a useless critical. My dream of a big house. You don't deserve a big house. We of Team Magma are working hard for everyone's sake. Like if that thing's power made more land, there'd be more places to live. Everyone be happy. But what if I don't want more land? What if I want more eyeballs? More eyeballs for everybody. Man. What if Pokemon featured a Magma versus Aqua battle scene? What if there was, like, an entire movie based around the conflict? The War of Magma and Aqua. It's super effective, and yet it didn't do all that much. Your silly little Zubat won't stop me. Huh? What do you mean I lost? <laughs> so you come all the way here, but you're too late. I've already delivered the meteorite from Meteor Falls to the boss. Well, then I'll have to beat the boss. Ah, you have a unique sprite. Magma, Magma Admin Tabitha. Would like to battle. Interesting. Screech at the camel. What the fuck do you mean it missed? Oh, so it can growl, but he can't screech? Give it tinnitus. Schmack up that camel. Come on, Shane, you can do it. You can kill that camel. You bitch. Why do they always survive with one hit point? Every single time. Granted, I survived once like that. Like, Team Magma wants to get rid of water. And Magma wants to get rid of land. Oh, yeah, because you're part ground type. I'm dumb. Fine, then tackle attack. About Cinder Pucciana, we'll keep it here. Shouldn't your Pucciana be leveled up by now? Shouldn't it be. No, I, I think it's a few more levels until it's a mighty Ina. Quit with the sand! It only affects me! And one hit kill somehow. Amazing. We can't see the health of opposing Pokemon, which is so annoying. We can only see an approximation. We see a visual representation that is not just a normal representation. Almost. Another new mouth. We'll go ahead and swap out. Night Fang. Eat some lava camel. It's like a kinder egg, but with lava. Then again, shouldn't Team Aqua win because water versus magma? Also, why doesn't Archie have, like, something better than a Pucciana? Makes no sense. I beat you, Tabitha. <laughs> Even though I've lost if our leader awakens that thing. And level up time for Striker. So yeah, Zuby. Like Ditsy the Ditto. I got Zuby the Zubat. <laughs> That's a good name for a Zubat. It just sounds catchy. Minetric time. Striker has evolved. And since we're here, I can... Go ahead and use this revive on my boy. Eh, but at the same time, he's a grass type and we're gonna... But at the same time. It would be rude to leave him dead. 
Because we have some soda pop. Yeah, but the soda pop could be used as a good heal. I just need to remember to actually use it. But what we'll do is we will put somebody else in front, like Nightfang. And then bring Diddly D in when it's good. A good matchup. And the power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power of this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater and... <laughs> Hmm? Who are you? I'd heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Timako's affairs. It must be you, he meant. Hmm. So you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma. Now you listen. Long ago, living things used to learn, uh, use the land to live and grow. That is why land is all important. It is the cradle of life. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the landmass. I have to go now, but have a great rest of your day, and good luck with progressing through Hoenn. Thank you very much for spending your time here, and hope you have a good, uh, like, day or night, wherever it is there. Time's an illusion. It is for the further advancement of humankind and Pokémon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. Oh, there was no need for you to learn that much, but no matter. I'll teach you the consequences of meddling with our grand design. And interesting music playing. Ah, you too have a mighty Ina. Mine's better. <laughs> they intimidate each other. Are both Aqua and Magma and Emerald? Yep, we're dealing with them now. Makes me wonder what, like, Sapphire and Ruby were like. Since they had to have been carry on just by having, like, one team. Maybe you'll flinch. Welcome to the bite-off. This is very silly. And I raised my attack with Howl, and it doesn't seem to be doing much. And he flinched anyway, you fool! Not sand attack, that's cheating! At least I got multiple attacks up. You slut man. The big bad bite off. You've bitten off more than you could chew, because you're biting me. Ah, critical hit! Now you're just back to where you were, you fool. And you flinched too. You wasted a potion. Ha 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 ha. I am the victor of everyone. Ooh boy, triple flinch. Get smacked, mighty Ina. Night Fang for life. Of course. One more bite. Goddamn sand attack. Why does it only affect me? I friggin' swear. I am the only one who gets affected by sand attack in this game. Three in a goddamn row! Seriously, one sand attack did that. That doesn't feel fair. I've used sand attack multiple times on some enemies, and they just don't react. They don't care. They always hit anyway. They land one. It annihilates me. And goodbye, Zubat. And a camera up, huh? I will send out Nickel. It does look cool. Wing attack. Focus all you want, you won't win. I'll just focus on blasting you. <laughs> and that is why we focus on blasting most of the time. 
<laughs> what? I maxi was cut off guard? And I won 2,000 Poké Dollars. But enough. I will be back. I will back off this time. But don't think that this is the last you've seen of Team Magma. <laughs> Even without the meteorite, if we obtain that orb. <laughs> Neon, thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Uh, doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. We shall meet again. A meteorite is fitted on a mysterious machine. Let's take that meteorite. Meteorite time. Does that mean... Oh, wait. Should I be able to... I can't go back to that one place. Huh. Interesting. It'll, it'll take a bit to get back to that one town. Lola, quit calling. Lava cookies are Mount Chimney's local specialty. Try one. Sure. That's a lava cookie. I should have seen this coming. Mount Chimney's Jagged Pass. This is what I've always wanted in a mountain. There's some jagged bumpiness that rocks my soul. So how do we get up and down this? Obviously, there has to be a way. No, not that. I keep forgetting. I keep, for some reason, thinking the bag should be Pokemon, but it's not. I'm dumb. Wait a minute. And again, I did the dumb... Well, for some reason, my brain goes, oh, Fly-type does good against Rock, and I don't know why. It's obviously wrong. I will hold true, though, I guess. Maybe you'll get a crit and things will be nice. For some reason, my brain just like, bird kills rock, even though that is just completely wrong. And I only remember when I send out my diddly-dang bird. But at least this will level up Nickel, I hope. It's a level 20 Geo dude, so it should do it. Quit throwing rocks. It's bad for your health and mine. Imagine losing to a bird when you yourself are a rock. And we shall send out the boy who is ready to annihilate. Bullet seed, I guess. And a critical hit. Harsh. Double critical hit? What are the chances of that? And almost leveled up. Losing left me bitter. Should, ah, there we go. We can bounce all the way. Hmm, another Numel. Who is decently leveled. As opposed to my Nightfang, who is very hurt. Although, now come to think of it, it would be interesting if there was, like, an alternate universe, like... Ruby and Sapphire game where you could join either one. You could join Magma or Aqua. I think that would be neat. What? What are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business it is of yours? I'm gonna beat you, Magma Man. Send out your Puccina or whatever. Go zoom. 
eat it alive, eat its soul. And this is why Zoom is badass. Zoom is just amazing. And you flinched at it too. Be gone, Satan. Ah, I should have ducked into our hideout right away. Here I am just trying to get back to town. And there's just dudes everywhere. And I'll have Luna get some fun in. This place isn't your casual hike. It's not suited for a picnic. And let me guess, you're a picnicker. Why is a picnic person being over here? Confusion. Confuse that mushroom. You whore. Ah, synchronized. Get synchronized, you bastard. You're gonna use a swab blue? Then I shall use my striker. Striker, knock it down. Goodbye, bird. You're going to use an oddish. Then I shall use my nickel. Nickel, destroy! You are a fool who stands before me. Oh no, the ground is too bumpy. As opposed to the ashes falling from above? And I'll heal just some of my Pokemon so that we can have a better time. And we shall take on these two. I climb this hill every day. I have confidence in my strength. Oh, yeah! It's awfully scary to shoot down the mountain in one go. I will annihilate you either way. Only one each, huh? Perfect. Luna, confuse that man. And, uh, pound that shroom. You fuck. Leave Luna alone, you bastards. Why would that count? Why? Game, that's dumb. It is a steel type. <laughs> I feel like, in my opinion, that Psychic should go, like, beyond steel. Because steel is, like, physical. Does it have a steel mind or something? That's, that feels dumb. Why is steel, like, defensed against Psychic? It makes no bloody sense. Of course you're paralyzed and you can't move, because the world is fucking dumb. Let me screech at him. Why haven't you learned Mega Drain yet, Shane? Break through the confusion, you're a psychic type. And paralyzed anyway. Why does it double up? We're gonna do the bullshit thing because you're being a bullshit to me. Fuck you.
bullet seed him. Uh, 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 it's not gonna work on me. You're being a little shit man. Being cruel to me. Of course I'm the one being paralyzed. Will you fuck off? It feels like all the status effects only affect me. Kill that goddamn Magnemite. Kill it now. It's a shitty little man who deserves to be executed. We will throw it into the volcano. Into the volcano with you. You little bastard man. Level up time! Huzzah! And level up time! Huzzah too! And now we'll just smack away at the little mushroom until it is dead. Fucking paralysis. At least it's missing all its tackles for some reason. There's minor justice in the world. But why the hell does Steel defend against psychic attacks? What went wrong? I feel like I'm falling apart. I hope you do fall apart and that nobody comes to save you. Who is calling me? I don't even know who you are. Not really. Nightfang, take over. And let's see, we'll take back the experience share. And I guess we'll give it back to Luna so that Luna can get more experience and stuff. There we go. Fight me. Jagged Pass is hard to walk on. It's a good place for training. It's a good place to throw you off a cliff. You are going to be annihilated by me. Also, shouldn't that have turned into a Lanoon by now? Or is that like level 22 or something? Does your Pokemon hate you? My number one Pokemon punishment is if you dare beat me, you will be sent to Fallibur on one-way ticket. You will be suffocated in ash eternally. I will take my soot bag and I will suffocate you in ashes. Kill. It was all over while we were still trying to find a good footing. You will never find good footing. While I get more used to this bumpiness, I'll, I'll be sure to win. Can you register me on your Pokenav? I have no choice to. The world is a cruel mistress. And we're almost at Lava Ridge. Hey, I'd like to go to Marville, but uh, if I went down these ledges, it'd be no easy matter to get back to Lava Ridge. Got that. Lava Ridge Town. Pokemon Center Hot Springs, an excellent place for relaxing. If you'd like the hot... Oh, you like the hot springs, do you? That's surprising for one as young as you. Why, wow, there's just people here. I have here an egg. I'd hope to hatch it by covering it in the hot sand of the hot spring, but that doesn't seem to be enough. I've heard it would be the best if it were kept together Pokemon and carried about. Your trainer, yes, and your Pokemon have vitality. Will you take this egg? Sure. You've too many Pokemon. Well, fine. Being buried in this hot sand is ah, so warm and heavenly. Uh, ouch! A Pokemon nipped in my backside! And now you'll be eaten to death. Such is your punishment. Goodbye. I think Pokemon get closer to their trainers if they spend time together. The longer the better, that's what I think. Stockholm Syndrome. It's sort of magical just how sitting in a hot spring pool can invigorate. I wish I could let my Pokemon soak too. Why not? Do they have something against Pokemon? Oh, that's the hot spring ray. Ho ho ho, hey kid, you can reach the hot springs from here. If Pokemon are getting rest, so too should their trainers. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Bing, bing, bing. No, I already, I already did that. Or we'll go ahead and put somebody away so we can at least get the egg. I don't even know what Pokemon it is. Who should we put away? I'll put Luna away for now, but we're totally coming back for you. I'm just gonna grab the egg. Hey, old woman. I have here an egg. Egg, 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 egg. Good, I hope you'll walk plenty with this here egg. And now we will put it away. I don't even know how many steps it takes to, like, hatch that egg. Goodbye, egg. And uh, sometime we will walk about and have you about and do stuff, I guess. I guess we can at least walk through here and see what everything's about, the hot springs. We draw as much hot water as we need, and yet the hot springs never run dry. Isn't it magical? These hot springs appear near active volcanoes. Veins of water underground are heated by magma to well up as hot springs. Interesting. They're claiming that these hot springs are good for calming nervous tension, relieving aching muscles, solving romantic problems, and attracting money. I don't believe that. If people put Pokemon in hot springs, it might be seriously strange. Why, it might be an electric bath, or a bubble bath, or even a lava bath. You are weird people. I bathe in the hot springs every day. I want to become a beautiful and strong gym leader like Flannery. Pokemon Herb Shop. Better taste, better cure. And it makes your Pokemon hate you. My wife's warming an egg in the hot springs. That is what she told me. She left two Pokemon at the daycare and they discover that egg. Her Pokemon fucked. Ah, young one. I am also a young, but I mimic the styles and speech of the elderly folks of this town. What do you say, young one? Would you agree to it if you were to offer teach the move mimic? No, thank you. Oh, boo. I want to teach Mimic to your Pokemon. Too many people out here trying to teach my Pokemon moves. <laughs> Knowing your luck, just billions and billions of steps for that egg. Probably. You've come to look at herbal medicine at Lava Ridge? That's rather commendable. I like you. Take this. Let me guess. Powers up fire type moves. Herbal medicine works impressively well, but your Pokemon will dislike you for it. It must be horribly bitter. Knew it. Also, that's a laptop. <laughs> now, let's see. Well, I guess there's no better time to face a gym than now. Even though probably Flannery is going to kick my ass like everybody else. Every gym leader has on some level kicked my ass a little bit. Oh, how's it going, Champion Bound Neon? Lava Ridge's gym leader Flannery uses Fire-type Pokemon. Her passion for Pokemon burns stronger and hotter than a volcano. Don't get too close to her, you'll burn. Hose her down with water and then go for it. Is that a euphemism? See how the flames blaze wildly? They flare in anticipation of my win. I'm going to shove you back down that hole. Do you know how many Slugma I've killed? I fear no Slugma. I will annihilate you. Eat that lava. You might have rocks, but I have teeth. Gonna send out another Slugma, huh? Nightfang can take it. Oh no, what are you going to do? Uh, inflict four more points of damage and a critical hit. You don't even get to inflict four more points of damage. Be gone. Something didn't go right. Yeah, no shit. Interesting. Well, bow. 
Interesting place. And who are you? As much as I love mountains, I especially love volcanoes. Are you into human sacrifice? Because I think you're into human sacrifice. Well, at least it's not a Geodude. Congratulations, you're more original than any other person I've run into yet. Although, by the level of your Pokémon, I dread what Flannery is gonna be like. Now, then again, if Night Fang keeps up this critical hit rate, everything should be fine. 38 million billion trillion. Shouldn't it be 38 trillion billion million? Ah, I avoided a double battle. Come on, get with it. Let's go before my feelings cool. Is that a euphemism? And another slugma. Is that all that you have? All that you fire dancer people have. Or kindlers, as you like to call yourselves. Aha, you flinched. Two for flinching. Jesus Christ, that's the third critical from Night Fang. It's so hot and yet my heart is clinched, clutched by ice. I wish I could find a Sneasel in this world. Sneasel is a good Pokemon. Let's have uh, Zoom get on the action a little bit. So it seems that there's three ways we can go. Yeah, I figured. Can your Pokemon withstand 392 degree heat? Can you survive me pushing you down that hole? A Kesleon? Kill the shopkeeper! <laughs> well, at least it has a fire move. Be gone, Satan. It didn't burn hardly enough. I want to fight everyone. Ow, 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 yikes, it's hot! Then why are you in a fire gym? Why are you a kindler in a fire gym? Well, the smaller number comes first, so 38 million billion trillion is correct, and that's how many new most spend and slug mother are in here. Definitely feels like it. Although we haven't run into a Spinda yet. Just a Slugma Numel. Good job, Luna. Ooh, you're learning Psychic? Yes. I guess we can get rid of Teleport. I'm never going to use that. Now, dear Luna, can do great things. I'm blinded by the sweat in my eyes. Once I'm through with you, it's gonna be blood. I guess I'll take the that for now, so that... Because it doesn't feel like there's anybody that's super behind. I'm trying to relieve my stresses. Don't come along and stress me out. I'm gonna stress you out. Ask of this question. Can you survive 392 crits? Basically. But I'm going to assume that Flannery is going to have a level 28 Pokemon on our team. A high enough level that it's hard to get to even with grinding. And you only had one. I thought there was going to be more. I'll keep Zoom going until Zoom levels up. Oh. You must be getting tired by now. You'd like to rest of the hot sand, wouldn't you? But your willpower is an important ability for all trainers. And what are you going to send out? Another Slugma. 
I hope I have a nice spread of levels and Pokemon to fight Flannery with. You fool. Also, wouldn't hardening for a uh, Slugma just mean that it's cooling itself down? Turning itself into a statue? Play a fire and be burned. That feels like an ancient curse. I want to use strength on the man. Shove him down a hole. And I guess since we're in here, I'll give Zoom the... The, like, silk band, I think. It's a silk scarf. Flannery's ace is a level 29 Torkoal, so watch out for that. Well, that's gonna be painful. And here I thought I'd run into more like fighter people. Ah, that's rude. I have to go through a whole cycle again. Or maybe that's my sign to go and heal my Pokemon and come back. I think that's what that is. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon and come back. But I think I should do decently. Maybe. Guys, I forget. I don't know what typing Torkoal, if like Torkoal is just fire type or if it's also a fire ground. Because I don't think I'll be able to use my cheese of paralyzing them and then beating them down. But hey, this is the first gym that feels like an actual gym in a long time. Puzzles bring back memories. I should have just gone down the path I did before. There's so many holes! How'd you even set up this holes to work like this? Oh, and we're just back here again. Hmm. Ah, so I need to go there. I need to remember the mental map of this place. Maybe if I fall down... Oh, you're a fight! Um, okay, I'll battle with you. Why are you in the corner? I figured you'd be one of the other ones to catch me out. And you only have one Pokemon. I'm going to kill you. Chomp upon his face! Ah, yes. Detect the annoying I'm going to waste your power points and time ability. Too bad I'm faster than you. Kill him fast. Bide your time by biding die. Oh, but you're too strong. Hmm. Then if I launch up... Hmm, these are the two holes. I need to go to the one on the right. And we're here. First things first, is there anybody who's super damaged? There's nobody who's damaged. So we're gonna save before we go in, just in case. I'm gonna lead with Night Fang to bust you down a bit. Welcome. No, wait. Puny trainer, how good to see you've made it here. I've been entrusted with the... No, wait. I'm Flannery, and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me, though. I have been leader only a short time. 
with skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall uh, demonstrate the hot moves we have honed on this land. So she still hasn't got the routine down pat just yet. Cool design, though. And you have four Pokemon. When trainers give me their you're too strong nonsense, I'd say, then why battle me? That's true. Destroy the Snoomel! Flinch harder! Flinch harder! Ah, you have hyper potions? You bastard. Luckily, your new melt didn't even get a hit off. Aw, oh, I was hoping that you would be <laughs> flinch again. At least your new melt was nothing to me. Another slugma? Nightfang can handle that. Destroy the slugma! Make it flinch! Destroy the slugma! Flinch it again! And let me guess, you're going to use a fucking... Oh, that's not good. Let me guess, you're going to use a hyper potion. Oh, you're not going to use a hyper potion? I thought you were going to use a hyper potion. Oh, that's not good. Is that really a one-hit kill move? Or was I just obscenely unlucky? And here I thought you were going to go and use a Hyper Potion, unless you do it now, which would be very rude. Luna, confusion! Oh, please, for the love of God, don't use a Steel-type. A camera up. I think I can beat that. You psychic! And another overheat. Is that gonna kill you in one hit too? Probably. So yeah, the sunny day really does just facilitate this murder spree. Hmm. I'll send out Striker. Might not be able to use electric moves on camera up, I don't believe. Let's use Tackle. And it also uses Tackle. And the sunlight faded. Good. And you use Sunny Day. So that it can eternally happen forever. So it feels like they can only use one overheat at a time. Per Pokemon. Sunny Day raises the power of fire type moves. Yep, figure that. Which is why that's a very mean combo you have there. I'm gonna save Zoom for as long as possible. Because I. And I should have fucking known. You're an asshole, Flannery. Asshole. We use Screech on you. Even though one, over, like a normal fire t attack, will just annihilate. Lol, he tried. And you failed. We'll whittle you down. And that'll easily kill Shane. How did that not kill Shane? You should be ashamed of yourself. I probably should have healed Shane there. But I just didn't have the figure to. And that went down far easier than I thought. Well, finally does have her... Flatteries. Yep, her plans. And we'll let you take point. Double team!
And it hit. Is it gonna one-hit kill anyway? How the hell is the only one that survived was... Like, the not... Like, the one that was weak to all that. What do you mean, restored your status? What are you talking about, man? Headbutt! That's very rude, game. Giving her plans, how dare you. Now we got a reset. Because things were going great until she just became boring. I'm gonna use this one attack and this one attack only. You're so very cool, Flannery, using only one move. So the new plan, I guess, is to try and use my flinching duo to annihilate her as much as possible. Let's hope that we get a bunch of crits night this time, Night Fang. Eat its soul. Ah, it actually got a move off this time. Where's all the flinches I had last time, game? How rude. Funnily, I had the idea of maybe using a potion myself there. Make it flinch! Yes. Basically, the moment that one of these Pokémon use... Sunny Day... I should instinctively heal my Pokémon of all damage... ...in preparation for them doing bullshit. Annihilate this fool! No Sunny Day set up for you! You're gonna use camera up. I will change. Because I think Nickel has a good chance of taking down this camera up nice and quickly. It did a lot of damage on its own last time. Wing attack! No setup. Just destroy, destroy. And you're just going right into it without even using Sunny Day. Again, why is everyone so weak to it, except for the one that is literally weak to it? It makes no sense. Maybe his special defense is just that high? Bite attack. Make it flinch. 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 Why can't any of them flinch anymore? How very rude. Also, kind of annoying, it's like, oh, its special attack fell sharply. Apparently not, because it still one hits. It should be a move that's just, like, so unbelievably damaging that if you use it, it can't do anything else. Hmm, who do I have? I'm going to, I guess, send out Zoom. In attempts to flinch it to death. I think you're right. Overheat is a one-hit KO move. But that's a thing. It isn't. Because the camera up to use Overheat against Shane, my grass type. And he lived with eight health. It's shenanigans, I tell ya. Yes, flinch more. If only I had Surf by now. It's very stupid is what it is. Hmm. I guess I'll see. Are you actually a ground type? We're probably gonna be going through this a third time anyway. You're not a ground type? And you can use it anyway, because, you know, that's fair. Again, why? Why is this spammable? Oh, but Hyper Beam needs to have a cooldown. This is bullshit. 
Ah, might as well try. It's not gonna do anything, but meh. Probably should have just used pound, but brain said, bullet seed, go. But yeah, don't you think it's a bit weird that, yeah, like, hyper beam and other moves require the use of that? Like, oh, you use this move, but it's gonna, like, make it so you can't move next time. Then there's this bullshit. Well, maybe the camera up to use a different fire move, but I've only seen it use three other moves. Use Psychic. Get a crit. So you're basically... You gave up there. If you just used Overheat, you would have won. That's all you had to do. Now kill. You whore. Why? You bitch. I hope you get paralyzed the entire way through. Paralyzed the entire way through. Wait, that's odd. Oh, because... Hmm, I don't know. Oh, Body Slam? Get a crit. Get a crit. Luna Sweep. Luna Sweep! Ah, And you lose. Wait a minute. I... Ha! Ah. Now I should... I knew what I should have done there. What I should have done was I should have healed... Un well, have it wouldn't have worked anyway because it... Oh, wait! Overheat probably is a 5P PowerPoint move. So if I did do... So I kind of sacrifice... If I all I have to do... New ideas. I need to keep Striker for the Torkoal. But yeah, if, if I can get through the Slugma without the Slugma using Overheat... I think things might be good. Well, that's very mean. Don't tell me you have overheat, too. I think that would be bullshit. But yeah, I feel like one of these Pokemon should not be here. Like, I don't think... That... The Camerupt should be here. Or the Slugma. Or at least one less Hyper Potion. Also, I have not gotten a crit this entire match, I don't think. Which is very rude. Why does it know Overheat? I'm resetting because fuck that. That is stupid. No. I refuse, game. I refuse to put up with your bullshit. Overheat is a stupid move. It only has five. It should stun the Pokemon that uses it after it uses it, because that is stupid. Bugger off, game. What is, uh, is you caught a Slugma or Numo to use Overheat yourself? Because she probably is going to give me Overheat as a TM and it's not a learnable move. Which means that the game is also cheating, because that means she would have had to have had four... Read it. Four TMs of Overheat. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? There's my one. Oh, fuck off, game. You read that. Well, at least it survived. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going... Oh, I forgot. You have Hyper Potions because you're a cheating whore. Flinch it. Why can't you flinch when it needs to be flinched? So stupid. Hmm, and I will then send out Nickel instead. Maybe for possibility of healing Night Fang, as well as setting up things in the future. But yeah, all of them having overheat is super dumb. Night Fang survived because of Intimidate, except I don't think so, because I think Overheat is dictated by Special Attack. Hence why, when it is used, the uh, Special Attack goes down. 
which is kind of, I guess, meant to facilitate something kind of like the, oh, you used Hyper Beam, we're going to stun you for a turn. Get a crit. And there's the overheat, and Nickel is dead. Yeah, because see, the special attack falls harshly, it says. Which I don't fucking believe. Hmm. I could send Nightfang out. We're gonna send Nightfang out and hope that we get flinches. Because it doesn't really matter. If I heal him, he'll just get overheated and destroyed anyway, so I should go for a first turn bite flinch. Yep, doesn't matter. Because the game is cheating now and not letting the flinches happen. Which is bullshit, man. The game is cheating. Kill it with Psychic. Get a crit. Almost. And it used uh, Tackle instead, which isn't that bad. Use Confusion. Fuck off with the Hyper Potions, you whore! Feels like bullshit. The game is, like, intentionally... ...doing bullshit. Keeping them alive so they can be healed. Why are you using Tackles all of a sudden? You annoy me. Well, at least this is done. And now to try and set up my next idea. Alright, we're gonna first send out Striker. And now, we are going to Thunder Wave you. So we have potential. Aha! You missed, you bastard! So now you're at four out of five power points! And is paralyzed! Can't move! And there goes your overheat, which will destroy poor Striker. And then it eats a white herb that restores its status, which is basically its stats, I believe. We'll send out Luna to damage you a bit more and try to activate your stupid hyper potion. Get a crit and kill it in one go. Darn. That might kill Luna. It killed Luna. And now you're going to use a hyper potion, aren't you? Oh, wait, white smoke? Huh. And that wouldn't have done. Hmm. Why is he weird with your... Ah, I think I know. The computer is reading me again. If I used an attack, she probably would have used a hyper potion to block it. That's stupid. Because that's the only way that makes sense of why that played out the way it is. Watch. Headbutt, you're gonna heal. Oh, you didn't? That's weird. Why wouldn't you heal your ace? I thought you would heal your ace. Why didn't you? Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. You motherfucking were right you're trying too hard! Four overheats! I've only recently become a gym leader. I tried too hard to be someone I'm not. I have to do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. A bunch of money. And the heat badge. If you have a heat badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those who get in trades from other people, will obey you completely. And it lets Pokemon use HM moves like strength outside of battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. Yeah, I feel like only the Camerupt and the Torkoal should have overheat. That move inflicts serious damage on the opponent, but it also sharply cuts the special attack of the Pokemon using it. It might not be suitable for longer battles. Wait, yeah, that just feels insane. Yow, that was a scorching hot battle! 
I do not understand the game sometimes. Please don't fight me while I'm in this state. Neon, hey, it's been a while. How's it going? That's a decent collection of badges. All right, then. You may as well have this. The Go Goggles. What are they? Keep those with you if you're planning on going to that desert near Route 111. There should be some Pokemon that are exclusively desert dwellers. You might look around for those. As for me, I'm considering challenging Norman, the gym leader of Petalburg. Unlike you, Neon, your dad looks like he's really tough. I've beaten you every single time we have fought, you little bastard. Gary was a better friend than you. But yeah, I feel like that was kind of a shenanigan fight. Not as bad as Watson, but kind of shenanigan due to the fact that every single one of them knew Sunny Day and Overheat, which just feels lazy. Like, it would be neat if, like, the Slugma and the other, like, the Slugma and the Diddly Deed both knew Sunny Day, and then the other two had Overheat, then that could be some synergy that might... I don't even know. Probably Sand, sand Shrew and Sand Slash in the desert. Maybe. Oh, hey, they sell revives here. I have a lot of money. I'll buy ten revives. And a few more potions. If I had a stone wall type Pokemon to really stall out battles, revives would be really good. But this game is out here throwing the instant death at you. And I think, yeah, I can go down there. Because, let's see. There was that one diddly D. I think... Ah, and that cave that was nearby that goes up there did a thing. And we can check out that desert, because it doesn't really re lead anywhere. We can check out that route, then go up here to Fortree City and Lily Cove. Give me this item. I found one nugget that I can sell. Speaking of, I can take this away from Zoom. Ah, oh, bag is full. Why does there even bag restrictions? I'm never gonna use this. Goodbye. The nugget is more important than you. What? Don't... Oh, was that just telling me that with the addition of that nugget? Okay, good. <laughs> this is where I got stuck. I think I know where to go, for the most part. I should probably... Hmm. Actually. I think what I'll do is I'll head back to the town, swap out the bike for the mock bike. Because I saw some, like, minor things. So I think I'll need the mock bike I'll ever so slightly. I want a, my a mock bike. Where am I even putting my bike when I'm not using it? Yes. And now I'll be able to go super fast. Let's see. Does it also swap, swap the... It does! The small speed up is a bit odd. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Stardust. Interesting music. But I'm going to quickly head up to the cave up here. For one reason. There's a stone that I can use strength on. This bike feels weird to use. Beep, bop, beep, beep, bop, beep, beep, bop. Ah, I'm a chop. We haven't caught you one yet, but I don't really care to catch one. I am not a Machamp man. Bite its soul away. Not very effective, and yet it flinched anyway. Obviously, it's effective. It's dead. Let's use strength. 
Very rude. Stare upon death and die. Be gone, balloon man. So this is a rock puzzle. For items. Like toxic. If I had a poison type that I used regularly, that would be a really handy move. Let's see what's coming this way. Can you come this way? Seems I have to do that. Hmm. You ain't fooling me. Hmm, a firestone. And once again, bag is full. Why are there bag restrictions? Baggin, where are you? Beautiful red sand can be sold for a high price. Lava cookie. Heals all status problems. Hmm. Goodbye, X Speed. I do not need you. But I'll take this firestone. Maybe there'll be a fire type that can only evolve through fire sto through stone that I'll want. Okay, that's odd. The boulders reset automatically. That's interesting. I guess because they worried maybe somebody would find some way to soft lock themselves in there, so they're like, if the stone leaves the screen, move it back. Which I guess is understandable. Better safe to make it impossible to soft lock than risk people easily being able to soft lock themselves on accident in there. And we should probably head back into town, sell a bunch of things. Oh, we don't even have to go back in town. We can just go to the battle tower. It's not open, but they can still sell stuff. Which works for me. And then we can head into the desert. Fight some people there. Maybe look into that uh, desert tower. Although I wonder if the... What your rival says there, Brendan. If I was like, I'm thinking of challenging Norman. If that's a hint to go back and challenge your father now that you're stronger. Who knows? I have a feeling that that one high reaction speed like thing is going to be annoying. I sell you the stardust. I sell you this nugget. I should probably sell you other things too that I'm not going to use. Like this dire hit. I'll keep that just because it can be used for something. I'm not going to use any of these X attacks. And everything else I'll keep. And well, I guess let's head into the desert, because it doesn't seem like there's anything super specific about it, except it existing and going to be a place you can go. There should be a tower made of sand around here somewhere, but for some reason it can't it can be seen sometimes and sometimes not. That's why I call it the Mirage Tower. For thirty years I've searched for ancient ruins. Am I to I'm to be challenged? You say that weirdly. Hey, a new sprite. And you send out a sand slash. I will destroy you. Great, a sandstorm is raging. Kill this sand slash. Eat its soul. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. 
Well, now you're gonna poison Nightfang, aren't you? Kill. Quit it with the sand. It's rough and coarse and gets everywhere. Quit with the missing. Bad game. Bad. It's only fair that if a Pokemon uses Sand Slash, it should also have its accuracy lowered. If only because of my all my sand attacks just never worked anyway. So the world deserves to suffer. And let me guess, you've noticed the end is near? Okay, good. I was going to say it was going to be a spiteful, oh, I'm going to lose while well, I'm going to poison your Pokemon anyway move. But luckily that did not happen. Trying to learn Swagger. Well, we can at least see what Swagger is. Confuses the foe, but also sharply raises attack. Eh, I don't really want to learn it. While I have searched for ruins, I've not searched for strong Pokemon. I don't know, that Sand Slash is actually pretty good. It's decent. Isn't the worst Pokemon to exist out there in somebody's team? Ah, oh, you found an item. Take the item. Oh, I thought I already did that. Hmm. Did I forget? Let's have Nickel in front for a bit. It's just a whole place full of people. I heard there are fossils to be found in the desert. Where could they be? Up your ass. Nickel, kill that sand shrew. Why are there sonic booms flying around us? Of course it missed. How come its move didn't miss game? Hmm, you ever think about that? Why didn't the sand shrews attack miss game? I think you're playing favorites. Especially because all of them are unaffected by the sandstorm. Your plain favorites game, don't even deny it. Ah, you're gonna use Meryl, huh? Striker, kill. Or I could have used Shane, but uh, I already sent Striker out. It's the beginning of our turn. Why are we buffeted by the sandstorm? How dare. Kill that marrow. Make it scream. Offset its heart's rhythm. I came up short. You will never find any. Any. Any anything. You will die out here. Alone. I'm having a picnic in the desert. You can always find a trainer so I can enjoy battle here, too. Well, you're not going to be able to enjoy your picnic. Because sand's going to get into everything. You idiot. Shane, kill. Yes, yes. We all have seen the, the sandstorm. We all know what's happening. Kill. Kill the sand shrew. Why did you only hit two times, Shane? Now you're gonna get poisoned. Just the game's an asshole. It's like every single time I call it on it, poisoning my Pokemon, it won't. So I have to keep calling it on it. It's the only way. I will destroy your ball toy as well. Take your toy, toy balls back home. It has no place at a picnic. Kill. Murder it all.
Hit three time. Just three time. Absorb this Baltoy's soul. Leave it lifeless in the sand. Goodbye, fool. You are mean, and you're an idiot. You're having a fucking picnic out in a sandstorm. What next? A picnic on an anthill? Wearing these go goggles makes me feel like a superhero. Right now, nobody can beat me. I'm going to beat you. I'm coming in. Ooh, you have three. Too bad they're all going to die. Hey, Shane, look. A mobile healing station. Eat it, Saul! Psybeam all you want. You will just become more soul energy for the boy. Also, back to that one picnicker. You're mean. Lady, you are sitting here in a desert waiting to waylay trainers with Pokemon that are immune to sandstorms while you are in a sandstorm. You are a monster. You're like a Call of Duty shotgun corner camper. Fuck off, game. You missed. No, you are a bastard. Quit missing. Game, you're being very mean. Why isn't he missing then, game? Hmm? How about that? Why isn't he missing? Three times in a row, game. You're being a cunt. There is no reason for him to be missing right now. Unless the enemy also suffers from it. Fuck off. Okay, gun. Game. The fuck? You're literally just being annoying right now. It is one hit point away from death. And you're just like, oh, well, it's a sandstorm. You're always missing. Fuck you. This is bullshit. And you know it. <laughs> to avoid natural weather conditions, use weather-changing moves. I don't think I have one. I've never even been given, uh, like, access to one yet. And even then, I don't think I, there are any that would really synergize with my current moveset. It's just annoying, because, again, all the enemies should be affected just like me. How dare they all conveniently have precisely the right Pokémon to avoid the dangers of the Sandstorm. Awfully convenient, hmm, game. Awfully convenient. Like, if there was, like, one Pokemon, like, if they, like, spread about a few sand shrews and ball toys across all of them, and then they had, like, one or two other Pokemon who weren't immune to the sandstorm, like, that would just be something, at least. And even then, I wouldn't be that annoyed if it weren't for the fact that it was just happening all the time. Three in a row? No. Shut up. Bad design. Once again, I'm the only one that gets affected by accuracy affecting moods. Which is just annoying. Because once again, every time I've used accuracy moves, the game says, oh no, no, the enemy hits you anyway. The enemy uses any kind of move that affects accuracy. Suddenly, I become a stormtrooper in fan fiction. Because at least in canon, the stormtroopers were able to hit some things. Don't become confused. Of course, critical hit, but at least I also hit, so it evens out. 
because I can take a few licks. It's just when it's a constant barrage where it feels contrived and annoying that I, consequently, get annoyed. Well, let's see. Ah, I didn't think somebody would be up here. To train myself, I challenge all who I meet. This is probably just a, hey, find more hidden, like, base rooms, but I'm not using that because it requires a move, which is annoying, because I don't want to give that move to any of my Pokemon game. Make it an item. Or, like, allow me to use the hidden, like, the, 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 the technical machine. Or something. Because I'm missing out, like, on a potential whole segment of the game. Because it requires a move that I'm never going to use in combat. To be planted on one of my Pokemon. And it feels like it's an optional little diddly D kind of thing. Uncle, I give up. I am not your uncle. I am your god. Ah. So they're just little extra areas you can get to. Oh, hey, those go goggles will suit you, but I think they look better on me. Let's decide who they look better on with the battle. That's not how this works. That's not how this works at all. You have a single sand shrew. I shall murder it. Kill. Of course, it only hits two times. Well, then. And there's nothing I can do. I guess just stomp on the ground. Congratulations, you have done nothing. Now kill. Of course. It wouldn't be a Pokemon game if not if it weren't for the fact that every single time an enemy gets low on health, the game decides to screw me over. How very convenient. Again, it wouldn't be as bad if not for the fact that it just always happens. And it only happens to me. I couldn't see what was happening at my sides because of the go goggles. Well, there is a sandstorm going on. Maybe, it have, maybe if it affected your Pokemon, you would have noticed it more. You morang. Your immunities are now your pain and miseries. At least there's a battle tower right nearby, so that's nice. Ding, ding, ding. Because I think that's my main annoyance at times. My annoyance comes when something happens repeatedly and has an annoying effect. Or it feels like the game is being shenanigans. You need to make it feel like the game is fair. Because then it won't even matter if it's not fair. This is the first time we've gotten to a random battle. Hello, Sandshrew. I don't really care to catch one. I don't really think I care to catch one. Because I'm not going to use it. And the longer we're in this sandstorm, the more damage my Pokemon takes, so... Sorry, Sandshrew. Of course it's only a two-hit. Oh boy, I can't wait to uh, miss a million times in a row now because the game decided to RNG me five different ways from Sunday. Then again, I guess I could go for a Pokeball now because it is low on health. You know the rules. You try to escape, you will die. This is your one chance to have a home and a computer. Good. 
I'm not giving the game a chance to screw me over of accuracy shenanigans. Sandshrew, the mouse Pokemon. When it curls up in a ball, it can make any attack bounce off harmlessly. It ha its height has turned tough and solid as a result of living in the desert. And what shall we call you? You shall be called Dan. Now let's see. There's a double battle down here. Let's have Luna join in on the combat. Time for fighting. How tough are you? We shall expose that secret. I shouldn't have come to a place like this for a picnic. See? A picnic person with a brain. They have a brain. It's a miracle. That Meryl is not a threat at all. But at the same time, I know. <laughs> Bullet seed you, and we'll use confusion on you too, because I am 90% sure that the game will be mean and leave you with... Hmm, that's actually a lot of damage for confusion. Goodbye, Sandshrew. Again, because the Meryl. The Meryl is worthless. It's not going to do anything to me. It's not even really worth the experience it's going to give me. And now we'll focus down the Sand Slash. Even the Meryl is buffeted by the Sandstorm. And once again, we'll just annihilate you. Because be gone. Into the ether with you. We have to be mean in double battles now, where we take out one trainer so they can't play the game. I wonder if you can play a double battle of just one Pokemon. Like if you take out all your Pokemon except one, and then walk into a double battle, or if it will just like activate only one of the trainers. I could foresee it only activating one of the trainers. I think that would be easier to program, maybe. And a critical hit that goes nowhere. Goodbye, Meryl. You are now dead. And sent out a Lombre. Goodbye, Lombre. You will soon also be dead. Everybody is buffeted by the sandstorm. Kill! Throw it into the hole. Well, at least it didn't heal a lot. And then the sandstorm rages. Destroy the little man. Goodbye, little man. Oh, your strength, it is shrouded in mystery. Oh, I really shouldn't have come. You're goddamn right you are. Ding, 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 ding. Another wild sand shrew. I guess I can try and defeat you just so I can level up Shane a bit faster. Absorb. Heal and kill at the same time. Don't you dare poison him, you monster. You poisoned him, you monster. You bastard. Now I'm gonna run all the way back to the battle tower to fix that after I kill you. Very rude. Absorb the last of its health. Leave it for dead in this storm. And now we will run away from the child so that we can... Mm. Well, 
A trap inch, hmm? Hmm. Hmm. I might like a fly gone. Maybe. Unless that kills. It didn't kill. Good. I'll at least catch you for posterity. Because, again, I really like the team that I currently have, and I'm not super attached to Flygon that I would want to throw one of my current teammates away for you. Nor do I think there is, like, a type opening for you, because I don't know what typing Flygon is. And huzzah! Caught indeed. Trap Inch and Pit Pokemon. Its jaw, its big jaws crunch through boulders. Because its head is so big, it has a hard time getting back upright if it tips over onto its back. And what shall we call you? We shall call you Hal. And we still need to go on our way to the Battle Tower. Because the world is mean and cruel. I wonder if the Mirage Tower only shows up at specific times. That's what the person kind of said. It's there sometimes, there are not times. And it would make use of the clock. Because I could have sworn that, like, the first time I tried to go into the desert before we got the Go Goggles, that it did indeed do that. It showed up. Now we'll continue down our way through the desert, if only just to accrue experience. We'll let Shane get to level 29, and then we'll start leveling up some others through the sandstorm. Oh, hey! The Mirage Tower's here. Let's see if I can... Aha! That's part one. This is gonna be a tough one if it wants me to do it multiple times in a row. And we're in the safety of this tower away from the sandstorm. Kill it. Kill it good. Aha! Three for victory! Big on, fool. Level up for shame. Leaf Blade? Leaf Blade sounds delightful. Hmm. Honestly, yeah, we'll get rid of Pound. Give us, like, more time to do things. Because if there's something that he's not strong against, it's better to just try. Wait, <laughs> if I have Rock Smash, I can just <laughs> cut ahead of that one. That's brilliant. Oh. Oh, that's just teaching you how to fall. Hmm. What's this? I'm going to save before I go up there. Because this seems interesting. A choice it looks like it's going to be made. What fossil Pokemon doth this be? Root fossil. And the claw fossil. I'm gonna look this up, I wanna know. I want to know what secrets thy hold. What is the claw fossil, dear world? Uh, da -da -da. Creates the Pokemon Anorath as opposed to Lilip. And then it evolves into Armaldo. Seems interesting.
But what are their types, I wonder? So it seems Rock Bug versus Rock Grass. Well, I think that the Claw Fossil is more interesting. I shall take you. And now the tower is crumbling. I have destroyed centuries of things. And somehow... Oh, that's the other one. <laughs> Disappeared into the sand. And now that ancient Pokemon will be dead forever. I guess we can go ahead and try a Leaf Blade on this Trapinch. Get ninja fool. But then we're gonna let some others suffer through the sandstorm. Like you, I'd say. Because I think all these will be ground types. So I think you'd work. I like how for the longest time we didn't get into any fights, and now it's all fights here. Come on, Nickel, let's level you up through this sandstorm. Kill! Darn, it's alive! How dare it live. It is meant to die here in the sands, like the Scorpion King Rock. Now fight me, little man. I'll give you some of my sandwich if you lose. Are you trying to bribe me with a sandwich? My bird's better than your bird. So let us birds be birds and the bird is the word, die. Silly. Quick attack is worthless in the face of power. And a Nuzleaf. It, well, at least to be fair, you are the first trainer I've run into that hasn't used an entire team of Hello Lilol, I am immune to the Sandstorm's effects. <laughs> you are playing fair, and for that I respect you, but I shall still annihilate you. Maybe that's why he tried to bribe me with his sandwich. I thought a sandwich would be enough of a bribe. No. Sandwich is never enough. Now well, let's let Zoom take over a bit. Zoom, your first victim has arrived. A sandstorm is raging. Kale. Maybe I should use the power point up for Headbutt, because Headbutt is a good move for you. Destroy that Sand Shrew. Although not that hard. Jesus Christ. A part of me wants to use a Repel. But at the same time, the experience these guys give is just good enough to warrant it, I suppose. Just good enough. And you are annihilated, Trapinch. Goodbye. Just glancing around to make sure there aren't any dudes that I'm missing. Sandstorm, of course. And at least it went into the TM's pocket, so I don't have to worry about it taking up actual room. If it weren't for the sandstorm, this place would be a good place to, like, level up a bit.
But now if this place is done and dusted, we've explored all corners of this place, we can go down the other road. I do kind of like the music that plays in this sandstorm desert place, though. Kind of reminds me of, uh, what is it? Shantae. Has that kind of feel to it, which kind of makes sense since the original Shantae took place on the Game Boy. Really? Oh, a Geodude. A low-level Geodude at that. I shall annihilate you. I wonder if Rock Smash would, like, be super effective against you, because, you know, you're a rock. Would be funny if it didn't, but at the same time, annoying. And we'll use the Pokemon Center in town, since we're going through the town. And we're getting close to stop time, so we'll at least annihilate the next route of trainers all the way to that little, like, watery traversal place, maybe. But all the way this way. I don't think we fought these guys. Like, I know that we did that one time, but then the timeline reset. Of which, let's try it. I knew it. You're all gonna get destroyed. The aroma of flowers has a magical power. It cleanses us body and soul. Go, go, Pokemon 1, 2, and 3! You will be annihilated in the face of a god. And you're a full team, too! How cute. Gaze upon your betters and die. You don't even get any moves. You will just falter and fall. Oh boy, more steel. Steel that will somehow resist the power of psychic because it's steel. Which is silly. Good job, Zoom. I guess you can start trying to whittle down that one while we annihilate the other one. Goodbye, Shroomish. You got critical psychic. Or no, confusioned. Half a dozen one, six other. And you can continue headbutting that one. Wait, ah, uh, I should have used my fighting move. Rock Smash. It probably wouldn't have done much, because in fact, I think I remember I tried Rock Smash and it didn't do much. Oh well. But now we'll have two Pokemon bearing down on that Aeron. Level up for Luna. Huzzah. Annihilate the little Steel Man for daring to be Steel. I still don't understand how Steel is, like, not very affected by psychic energy. How adorable. It's an electric kill. And now you are defeated. Come on, Pokemon. Are you okay? Pokemon 1, 2, and 3. That odor, it's a Pokenav. We must register each other. How do you smell technology, lady? And now let's try and level you up, and we'll put Striker up there as well. Oh, Neon, hi there. This is Maria. Listen, listen, you have to hear this. I had a Pokemon battle earlier, but I lost at the last second. You didn't even say goodbye. Even if there isn't a boat, you can cross rivers and see if you have a Pokemon that no surf. Pokemon can be counted to do so much. Let my melody rock your soul! I'm gonna throw you to the ocean and watch you drown. Oh, now I'm definitely gonna watch you drown. That was a critical hit. I hate steel types. 
At least that critical hit was worthless. Die. Be gone, you little monster. A uh, Whimser. My nickel can destroy a Whimser. Whismer. Kill. Goodbye, Whismer. Into the sea you go, Viking funeral time. La 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 la. When I compose better melodies, you have to come listen, okay? If only that was how easy it was to make friends. Taking them hostage. So I'll try to at least see about it. That's very odd. It didn't say anything about ocean. For fishermen, equipment is the key, but for trainers, the key is ingredients are Pokemon and heart, of course. And here I thought I was going to go this way, because the map doesn't show this water. Why doesn't the map show the water? That's silly. But I suppose that hint from Brendan really was a hint. And that we are to go face father. But if that is the case, then I do believe that I'm going to end things here. So that way, if I want to, I can do some extra grinding on my own time. And we have been going for about three hours now, so it's pretty good time. We beat another gym. And uh, while we did lose more to her than I think Watson even... It was a lot faster because I basically knew what to do for the most part. It was just that her techniques were kind of bullshit. Four overheats! It's like, yeah, seriously. Eight of her moves were Sunny Day and Overheat. Every single one of her Pokemon knew Sunny Day and knew Overheat. And she had four Pokemon. I feel like she didn't need one of those Pokemon. Like, maybe remove the camera up to maybe remove the new mill. Just, like, something. <laughs> Just too much overheat. And again, kind of evil that it's f four overheats. Four TM moves. It's one thing when, like, the gym leader has an ace who has a really strong TM move that gels with their typing. It's another when they have four Pokemon, monotype, all using the same absurdly powerful TM move. Blah. And the thing is, they don't even have to care about, like, the downside all that much, because they're a gym leader, an AI, they're an NPC, as composed to me, who has to worry about my stats and stuff. <coughs> but overall, aside from the minor returning annoyances of only I being affected by accuracy-affecting moves, and gym leaders continuing to be a bit wonky and weird with their difficulty balancing in this game. It's not like it's a big, like, slowdown, all things considered. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, an edited content YouTube channel called Neon Icy Wings, which I swear edited content is coming eventually, bleh. And then, of course, the streaming YouTube channel, where I stream on YouTube. Duh. As well as upload the archived streams for posterity purposes at the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games, where you can watch previous streams like my Mass Effect trilogy playthrough, my Kirby and the Forgotten Land playthrough, Undertale, Pokemon Yellow and Crystal, Blue Rescue Team, just tons of games. And then, of course, if you want more other things from me, like my little art character in the corner and things that I draw, you can... Follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, just all over the place. And those links can be found in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash NeonIcyWings. And as well as any descriptions, bios, and link places on the various sites. And also included in the link tree are, like, my Patreon, if you uh, want me to survive a bit more and wish to aid me in such a way as well as a link to one of my writing sites, because I do writing and I really need to do more, but art block and writer's block is eating my brain. I'll get back into it eventually. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.